Howdy hi and hello friends. I am right next to the Big Thompson River in the heart of Loveland, Colorado. Um, just a little south of downtown in fact uh, at this beautiful park. There's the Big Thompson River behind me. I'm giving you the little panoramic. All these cottonwood trees, big stones, boulders. Love how this tree is growing to the side. Very hardy. I understand that trees look for sun. So the part of the tree that is most shaded will grow the fastest in route looking for sunshine. Trees need sunshine to live just like us. And behind me is 287, Highway 287, a very busy road and a main thoroughfare, thoroughfare through downtown Loveland. But you can't really see it from here. But it's back there.
thought I'd come out here today, sitting here in the Big Thompson River, right in the heart of Lublin. Um, beautiful, quiet, serene, right in the middle of this park. Looking around. I had to stay in Lublin. My wife today is having surgery, uh, pretty major surgery. Uh, five and a half to six hours. So dropped her off very early this morning. Had to kill some time. I uh, got some breakfast. I went and I picked up her prescriptions already. Um, got her a few treats. Uh, something to look forward to when she gets home. And thought, well, I gotta kill some time. What better way than to go into nature, relax. I really needed this too because after the uh, the copay, you got your deductible with your insurance, and then you also have the coinsurance and the maximum out-of-pocket expense. And I got that today. It was really flabbergasted to say the least. Um, I knew it was coming. That's the thing, because I knew the bill was coming, but yet I was surprised. No, I don't know if that's the right word, surprised, but I was like, ah, uh, that was pretty much what I did too. I got that bill, I was like, ah. Uh, well, uh, it's gonna take a while to pay this one. <laughs> but without insurance, um, just for the facilities, the use of the facilities for six hours, it's about a two and a half to three hour surgery and two and a half to three hour uh, recovery room uh, time. Longer if there's complications, but knock on wood. I don't wanna mention that right now as the surgery's happened, so I'll avoid that. But just for, let's say six hours, uh, $36,000 would be the expense if I didn't have insurance. So again, grateful for the insurance, um, even though whew, pay an arm and a leg for that every month. Um, <laughs> arm and a leg and if we're storm, please. Um, and that's just uh, the monthly insurance with uh, uneducator salary, which is it's crazy. Uh, but it is what it is. This is uh, something I'm well aware of, I knew. But nonetheless, needed to get out here. Needed to burn off some, um, some angst about that. Um, what else would you call it? Um, shock. <laughs> um, it's weird too, because it's, it's, I knew it was coming. I knew, and I knew what the deductible was. I knew what the co-insurance is. I knew the maximum out-of-pocket deductible or not deductible, but max and out-of-pocket expense. And, you know, we've only put uh, maybe $1,000 towards that expense. But still, um, when you get that shocking of a bill, it's like, oh my God, that's, this is gonna be like having uh, another monthly car payment. Um, this is gonna hurt for a while. So, yeah. A little word of advice, though, if you, you know, if you need this information, I think it's good for you. Um, if not disregard, but if you tell the hospital or the doctor's office or wherever you are, uh, medical provider, that you don't have the money up front, they're like, well, we need to, you need to make this copay. You can refuse to pay. Sorry. Take a little pause there. Got a homeless person behind me. There's a lot of homeless along this river bank. Um, it's peaceful, it's beautiful. It's green and warm right now, granted it's fall. But it's about to get cold, it's October. Anyway, uh, blessings to them. I just want to say, the advice is, they're gonna ask you for the copay, the payment up front, of course, any good company will. Um, and you can simply tell them, I don't have it. I, I don't have that money. Um, and they are legally required to allow you the procedure still, but, they can try to show you different forms of payment. So I, I was looking to see if we could uh, qualify for an income-based uh, payment plan. And they also have a credit card that we could do uh, for two years, no financing. Uh, the bill has to be paid within five years, I think. So that's an option. I might look into that. Or I could just throw it on the old Visa and maybe get cash back. Oh, here comes this guy back again. It's hard to make a video in a populated place like a city, right? But anyway, take that advice for whatever it's worth to you. 